world, I am What If Studia, and today we are doing What If Deku Was the Reincarnation of the Strongest Hero, Laster. Uh, and we start off from where we left off with him taking uh, Namuri's hand, which is the name of Midnight, as he asks, What will be your name, my lady? As she says, N Namuri. I forget her last name. Uh, Namuri. I see, as he immediately lets go of her hand and brings her back up to her feet. As then she's like, what the fuck? As she's like let off balance, like her gravity's all weird. You know, she's like, what is happening? As she looks back up to him, she kind of blushes and then she looks down trying to, you know, forget about, she's like, no, 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 no. He's just a 15 year old. How, how am I feeling this? As she looks back up to him, he, he keeps his eyes direct, um, connected to hers as he's smiling wildly, bringing his arms open wide as he asks, I must ask, after all, your beauty is so stunning. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? As she's like, she just like fumes come out of her, out of her ears, you know, steam. As Bakugo is like, oh, you're dead. Trying to get ahead of the competition by making love eyes with the freaking teachers? No way. As he immediately just like jets at, at Deku. As then Deku raises his hand to Bakugo's face and then um, reflects his face up into the air, um, shifting all of his mass behind him, stopping his whole four force, full force, and he misses his explosion. As then um, Deku basically cripples him just by controlling his face stopping him from punching and you know using shifting his weight in the exact right direction where um he's unable to you know hit Deku and in this sort of childish manner as Deku Bakugo is trying to like throw attacks at Deku as then an exp um as then before uh, and Namuri's like looking at this all awkward she's like is that Bakugo uh, I don't know if this is okay and he's like, well, what would be your answer? As she's like, I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt. As he looks, he says, thank you. As the, as he sort of lets his guard down for a second as Bakugo immediately shoots a gigantic explosion. He's like, don't you fucking do that. <laughs> as you know, he sort of takes offense to this. As uh, uh, Deku is blasted in the face, he gets memories um, shot back into him from freaking Bakugo. Um, all of the memories of, of Deku are starting to reveal themselves to him as he remembers that explosion from explicitly before he killed himself. Uh, Deku almost comes back fully um, into his body as he was shock put back. As then Bakugo is standing above him, Deku says, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, whatever I did. Oh, where am I? As D Bakugo is like, don't talk like an idiot. I know what you've done. I've been training every single day because you said so! <sighs> and finally, I'll be able to beat your ass. As then he p picks up Deku t um, by his collar and brings him up. As then Nana, uh, you know, sends out her, her sleeping gas before Bakugo can finish off Deku. She's like, <sighs> I'm already using too much today. Well, I guess I'll see you at six. As she leaves, um, he, um, De um, Deku feels a strong urge to ask, um, will he be picking her up or she will be picking him? Uh, she, says, like, she says, you got a car? And then Deku's like, wait a minute, why did I say that? And sort of stutters a little bit. She's like, it's fine, I'll pick you up. As he says, wait a minute, picking me up? What time? I'm going on a date with the legendary he hero Midnight and... He's like, he's like, and why do I know her name? <laughs> Not Namur. Wait, what was it? Namuri, That's right. All right, yeah. Um, so he returns back to his house from the order that he remembers from because Deku's sort of weakly in this part. As De Deku explains what is happening to Deku, um, he explains that you know his name is. Uh, I completely forget what his name was. Uh, he was the great. The great hero of his time he was the most powerful hero in history and from what he understands nobody even can even compare to his power at this time even all might 
as he's like, who's All Might? As Deku's like, you can't tell me that you're the strongest without seeing All Might. Faker! <laughs> you know? And he's like, I'll fight this All Might, you'll see. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll, uh, I'll show them all. As he's like, you're sounding really evil. Trust me, kid, back then we had to be evil. There was no difference, really, between the villains and heroes back then. However, I shined a light on that. Through God's penance and also all the rest of the people behind me, I became the symbol of what you'd call purification. You mean peace? Right. Whatever. It's called today. All these heroes, they've gotten so weak. Why are you in my body, by the way? I believe it's part of our quirks, alright? I didn't get this strong just because of my quirk. My quirk was actually quite stupid. It was just because it was just how many people were behind me that made me stronger. Whoever believed in me, it increased my power. So once I started to gain great graces with the church and all the all the people that followed it back then, I started to gain massive amounts of power. However, that was not all. I had to survive in that world, which required much deeds to be done. As such, I learned to be brutal, fast, quick, and deadly. I'm more powerful than what you would explain to me as a pure hero, because I'm willing to make those decisions, and difficult to others. That's what you're missing now. Plus, a little bit of power will go a long way. Ah, I see. So you're not a villain. Yes, I'm not a villain. Jesus. Okay. Listen, kid. Have you heard of me, first of all? The five great heroes, yeah, I remember. Good, good, that's good. What has happened to all of them? He said, uh, Deku, Deku looks confused, saying, No one's ever taught that. It's been basically erased out of our out of our history books. All you remember is as, like, a, a myth tale. They all say that the main hero had led all of them. However, had been had disappeared from the eras of time, ever since he had done, had done battle with the great with the great dark sage. Ah, so they changed it. What? What do you mean? <sighs> they changed it up so that I would fight my own friend rather than my, the actual enemy. Someone has clearly been changing time. Well, what we remember as time, at least. The history, your history is wrong. I did not fight my own friend, and he did not betray anyone. <sighs> Something must have gone wrong. Someone must have gone through the eras of time and changed everything. Not a time change. He's just simply great at changing history. Maybe through tales or others. Maybe a quirk. That could be it, yes. As Deku's like, uh, you're hurting my brain. You remember, both of our brains are connected. As, as, uh, the strongest hero was like, Oh, yeah, you're right. How does this even work anyways? Oh, I, I, look, I, I, while I was, you know, dormant, I guess, you could say, I looked up how all this kind of works. Basically, since our quirks were matched from your era and mine, once you had, well, died, you connected to my body. And when, well, uh, I had died, I kind of switched bodies with you. However, with you no body to switch to, uh, I stayed dormant inside of this one until my memories were uh, awakened by Bakugo. Oh, I thought it was something like you were a crazy power-up, but you're just a ra random kid. Also, kid. Are we going to talk about it? Deku says, please don't. Right. I'll figure out our situation first. Then, then we'll get to your problems. In my vision, killing yourself is as bad as killing another. You're doing the same action, correct? As Deku says, I, I know. Then why, Deku? He says, not here, please. M maybe another time. I just got back. As the strongest hero is like, Ah, I see. Fine. I will. I will beat that little shit to his last breath. I've made him already beat up himself every single day. 
<laughs> can you believe it? As Deku and um, Alawa, you know, sort of, Alistair or whatever his name is, uh, have a good laugh over that. As, you know, they start discussing inside of his inside of Deku's head about all of the times and also discussing about Namuri until a col uh, car with sleek black tires and, you know, basically a mini limousine uh, sort of rolls up and uh, honks at them three times exactly as he walks out you know Deku um, was dressed quite nicely with a suit and tie and everything stolen from his dad's closet that had been abandoned many years ago it fits him perfectly uh, the tie may be outdated from like the 80s but you know that doesn't matter as he walks out you know um, he asks Alawa for uh, for his power um, as Allah was like, you already have my power. I'm here. As he says, no, your, your power as in like, you know, your power to get women. I mean, I don't think that we should really be dating her, but you know what? I really don't want to mess this up. Uh, trust me. She's beautiful, but she's my teacher. He's like, shh, 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 kid, 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 kid. She's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And that includes my whole, you know, about 50 years of experience back in my life. My life was way worse than yours, kid. And trust me when I say this woman is worth keeping. She's smart and I and I do declare she is her wisdom is that just reeks from her. Her wisdom is just intense. He's like, you mean your her dress? Whatever you call it, it's still beautiful, all right? He's like, fine, just please, please help me. <laughs> he says, of course, kid. I'll give you pointers. He's like, no, please take control, please. As, you know, he, he gets into the car. Uh, basically, Deku's like, I'll, I'll just give you control now. Um, Alawa's like, no, 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 we're not very trained at this, all right? You might just switch us up and then we, we'll be controlling the same body at the same time. No one wants that. As he's like, fine, please get onto it though. As Alawa's like, yeah, yeah, fine. As he starts uh, like trying to uh, figure out how, you know, shifting around works from shifting from Deku to him. As he starts working on that, um, he gets into the car of Nana as Namur uh, with Namuri. As Namuri says, oh, finally you came. It, it took you a long time. As he says, yeah, this suit is not exactly the most comfortable she says yeah you look like a gorilla in it and he's like oh yeah that's right i am really buff she's like weird flex but okay she says as then alawa's like you have to compliment her dude she's feeling like a little bit lonely here as as duck is like oh yeah that's right uh miss nana no Na murray i'm sorry as uh he says you look quite beautiful today and she says thank you as they continue driving on, uh, Namuri starts t talking about, you know, um, what exactly she does and how Deku's fascinated with her being the, you know, hero, um, about how her, you know, hero has affected her personal life and how, you know, being a hero really does take everything. It's like a jo it's like three jobs in one because you're protecting the city, becoming stronger yourself, and also trying to hide your secret identity. It's like, it's intense. And um, Deku's like starry-eyed, like taking notes. He's like, <laughs> he's like, yes, of course. Because this is a dream come true for him to be able to, to, to talk with an actual pro hero. And not only that, but, you know, midnight. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the top pro heroes that we're talking about. And she's, um, and she says, ah, anyways, we're here. As they get out and then they go into the dinner, as some people give them a little bit of side looks but continue their own dinner as they just assume the kid just looks small for his age. Maybe he just looks young. As she sits down and he sits down, she, her eyes start to glisten and that act, um, Deku realizes, holy shit, she's actually really beautiful, which activates his other side. Uh, Alawa finally gets back. Um, gets back. He's like, finally. And she's like, what? What, what, what? He's like, oh, nothing, nothing. Ah. <clears throat> Anyways, why exact? What exactly do you have to do with this child? 
why why would you, why would you take out a 15 year old and she's like well that's kind of intense to start off the conversation he's like oh was it i'm sorry <laughs> i'm not used to this sort of uh, happy go lucky kind of spirit in my time well people would kill over having to uh, getting to be able to eat or even go down the street without dying she says ah i see what, what, you're exactly 15, isn't that right? As he says, oh, and this kid's body at least. She says, right. As I thought, you are different than all the rest of them. Why exactly I brought you here was because I wanted to discuss what exactly has happened to young boy Midoriya. As you explain, um, could you explain to me, please? Uh, sir, please. Call me Alawa. As she says, Alawa? I don't remember that name, as he says, Oh yeah, that's right. So you see, I have sort of inhabited this kid's body. Through our quirk, once he dies and I die, well, we change. However, once I had died before long, long ago, I was, well, transferred into this kid's body. Now we share it. She says, that's quite the story. <sighs> so what exactly age would you say that you are now well counting the amount of day uh, amount of you know years i've spent dead uh just floating around as a spirit well i would say almost 400 she says 400 oh 453 i was 53 when i died and seeing your beauty would just uh, brought me back and she says you're too kind as he says no really I was struck, right as you entered the room. She says, stop, stop. As she says, you know, people are going to think weirdly of us from about this, right? As, as Deku says, not at all. Actually, in our day, in my day, we, we would get married almost at 13. Medieval times, I, I see. Not, well, at least they had heroes back then. He says, quite. I mean, the Hero Association was just a barnyard with a clip board on it that was about it <laughs> however my power that doesn't speak that doesn't speak for my power as she says oh i see wait a minute 400 years ago are you saying that's correct i am i was one of the strongest heroes of the time one of the top five that is correct that is correct i mean sorry i can't keep the voice going a while she says that's incredible. Which one were you? I was Alawa, the great, the strongest hero of all time. As she says, you're really? As he says, yes, the one who beat the great, the dark sage, but died from poison. Ah, so she knows more than she leads on. I knew it right as I saw her. She had great w wisdom and intelligence in this. So you know much of your history. Also, that's not how it went. And she says, What? What do you mean, it, that's not how it went? The Great Sage was my best friend. And comrade. One of the top five heroes. Why would I fight him? Well, it's said that he, was e he turned evil from his quirk. Bullshit. That would never happen. He had always ke kept his quirk under wraps. Tsukiyomi, his, br his brother, had, was the one that let the darkness consume him. I fought him and I won many times over. There is no way anything like that could ever beat me. Well, I'm dumbfounded then. Please, go on, explain what happened. All for one. The greatest threat that this human civilization has ever faced. He strategically killed me so that the rest of them would all fall. Didn't he? That's correct. The rest of the heroes, they all started to fall. As the legend goes, well, every single um, one of the heroes started a, a, a war, finding whoever would take your spot as the top hero. It ended up killing some of them. No way. What about Groud? And Shira? Both were almost killed, e uh, killed each other in combat. No way, they were best friends. What? How could that possibly be? Because you weren't there. Well, I don't know exactly the details, but 
Maybe it was because of you. Damn it, he says, almost screaming out loud, uh, as I get some weird looks as he had used some of his power that he had attained from before. This body is just so weak. I knew that I should never have left to fight him. God damn it. Ugh. As he looks back up to Nana, uh, to Namuri, uh, Namuri looks back at him with, not with fear in her eyes, but with, but with lust. As she says, I see you love your comrades so much. He says, <laughs> really? That look in your eyes. She says, um, he says, you're an odd one, Namuri. Isn't that why you brought me out, Deku? You know too much for your own good. As as his stern eyes meet her lustful eyes, as she calms herself down, she says, Sorry about that. Uh, you're quite the weird one yourself, Deku. And that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys someday, sometime.